On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, formatting all your lyrics so you have that cool box that everyone's using. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So if you've seen Passion, um, the, the Passion Tour, not the Passion of the Christ, totally different, then you've probably seen the cool, trendy new way of doing graphics where there's a white box around the uh, lyrics. You might have tried to do that in ProPresenter 5 or 6 and had problems. Well, let me show you three ways to do it and the advantages of doing each of them. And one way that you've probably tried that doesn't work at all. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. Okay, so one of the hot trends in worship is to put a white box around here. A lot of people think that the way that you would do that is just to right click, click edit, um, draw a box, here, make sure it's a good size for the text, uncheck the fill color, check the line color, click on that, Click on the color. Let's change the line width to, let's say, 10. And there we go. So now we just save that. And that's on that one. See? So when I click on this one, it goes away. So why is that? Well, this box is married to um, this particular slide. So in order to make it flow to all the slides, what you'll need to do is right click, go to template, and scroll down here to save selected slide as a template group, which I've already done. I called it white box thing here. So um, that should work fine. Now I right click here and I go to template you might already see the problem we're gonna have when I apply white box thing the box is too small for the text so you might think well no problem let's get back to where we were and that is let's see here what style was I using regular template. Okay. So you might think, well, no problem. What I can do instead is edit slide. Um, I can go into here, select the shape element, and then hit the backspace or delete button on your keyboard depending on how it's labeled. Um, it's the same button in the same place. It just depends on if it's a Mac or a PC keyboard. I'm doing this on a Mac, but this should all work on both. So now I click it and we're back to where we were. Now instead of doing that, I'm going to uh, click Edit Slide again. And this time I'm going to apply it to the text box itself. So I'm going to click right there. OK. Uh, not going to click fill color. I'm going to click line color. Then I'm going to select white and close that. And then the line width needs to be 10. So. I've already made one that is like that. I will right click on this and go to template. I saved it as a template 
Now I've called it white box outline thing. And you see that that looks about the same, so that's great. So what happens when I do it on this one? Right click, template, and by the way, I can apply a template to multiple ones. White box outline thing. Apply that, bad boy, and uh-oh. You see, because I made it on a smaller one, it makes the text box the same color, uh, same size. So what I need to do is right click, edit slide, and I need to change the size of the text box. So if I were doing this, what I would do is I would probably, instead of making the text box smaller as I did, um, I didn't actually show you doing it, Basically, the text box started out like this, and I made it smaller. In this case, if I know that I'm going to have to apply this to a larger text box, I'm going to go to the largest slide and make it fit that. And um, then that will keep the text box the same size across these so that you don't get this action. Okay, see how I'd really rather the text box stay the same. Now, if you're in ProPresenter 5, either of those techniques will work. Just choose the appropriate one that works for you, whether it's drawing a big enough box or making sure the, te the text box, bounding box, is on the largest one and therefore big enough. Either one of those should work for you. But in ProPresenter 6, we actually have a third option. Now, you might need to tweak this based on your situation. If this is the way that I needed to do it at my church, I would do it um, kind of as a, I would need to tweak this. But if we go again to template, having selected all the slides here, and we go to template, and now we go to rectangle, and let's do the quote slide, because that's going to be bigger. You'll notice that it applies it to both. Problem solved, but I do need to tweak this because notice how big this text is over here. Now it's itty bitty. So I'll need to tweak this for my particular church, but that does solve that problem. So those are the three ways that you can do this in ProPresenter 6, and remember the first two work perfectly fine in ProPresenter 5 as well. Well, does that make sense? Is it uh, obvious now the right way to do this, and which way is right for your situation? I hope it is, and I hope that you'll continue to leave your questions and comments below the video. The best place to do that, of course, is trinitydigitalmedia.com, and uh, there you can also go ahead and leave your um, question. In addition to leaving your questions or comments, rather, you can sign up for my free email newsletter where I send you all kinds of tips and tricks and free stuff. Or uh, you can go ahead and pick up some of the great resources that I've created for you in my store. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.